Now I've installed the shock and the very next step is to attach the steering linkage. You see where this goes back to that piece there. It's really difficult to see some of this stuff, but then you have a uh, you have a U-joint coming up to another U-joint and then into a kind of a steering box and that's going to be uh, where the steering wheel mounts but if you look closely here there is I've heard these called castle nuts there's a castle nut on a threaded stud and I'll have to loosen that castle nut all the way off and then it's going to drop in through this hole on the back side of the disc brake and the entire hub assembly so it'll drop into that hole and then when I tighten that down I'll use a cotter key uh, that I showed previously in the hardware uh, that'll, I'll use a cotter key through this little hole in the uh, in that post to keep this from this uh, tassel nut from backing off it's also very much the same for a uh, standard hub assembly when you when you look at a, a bearing assembly uh, this is smaller version of what's on most vehicles today that have disc brakes